In this video, which is part of the Securing Your Digital Life series, we're going to talk about the importance of computer backups. This video was brought to you by the National Cybersecurity Training and Education Center out of Whatcom Community College. The creation of this video was funded by a National Science Foundation Advanced Technological Education Grant. My name is Philip Kreger. I'm an Associate Professor of Cybersecurity at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about when things go wrong with your laptop, with your iPad, with your smartphone, and how to cope with those disasters. In particular, we're going to be looking at hard drives, or more generally, data storage devices, but we'll call them hard drives. But every device has some sort of storage, whether it is an iPad or an iPhone or a laptop or any type of computer, they all have storage. And then we're going to talk about the importance of backing up your hard drive and or your devices. We're going to discuss what you should back up, what types of files. We'll talk about the types of backups. And finally, we'll talk about backup strategies. So this is a five and a quarter inch hard drive and you'll find these drives on larger desktop computers. They're still used frequently. But then we have these newer devices which are called solid state drives and they're much more likely to be used in smaller devices such as laptops and iPads and the technology, which is solid state, is also used in smartphones. And so each one of these devices includes some type of storage. So now let's look at what can go wrong with a hard drive. Where I am located in Florida, we have a lot of lightning strikes. So power failures and spikes in electricity can render hard drives unusable. Essentially, they fry the drive. Malware, there's many types of malware now, in particular ransomware. If your computer is infected, it will encrypt files so that they're unusable, they're unreadable. And in order to decrypt the files, you're going to have to pay some malign actor at minimum hundreds of dollars to recover your files. But you can't, you can't use the files until they're decrypted. All hard drives will fail at some point in time. And a study found that 10% of hard drives fail after three years and 20% fail after five years. So you can guarantee that the longer you use a hard drive, the higher probability that will fail at some point in time and be unusable. Also, Physical computer damage, and what I'm thinking of here is stories my students have told me, is that they spilled coffee on their laptop, which essentially fries the electronics. You can no longer use the hard drive. There's theft. What if somebody steals your smartphone? What if somebody steals your laptop? Theft of these devices, they're a very attractive target, and it's not uncommon for someone to have one of their devices stolen. And finally, there's simple human error. Have you ever accidentally deleted a file? from your hard drive. I know that I have going back many years on occasion that I'll accidentally delete a file on our heart, my hard drive that I really needed. How do I reconstitute? How do I recreate? How do I recover that file? So if you've got important files on your device, on your smartphone, on your laptop, on your desktop, on your iPad, there's very good reasons to back up those files. Now to think about that many computers now may have a million files or more depending on if you use your computer for work or not or how busy you are creating work products they can have many files so we can look at this as a strategy of various steps let's say you only need to back up your most important files for example financial documents legal documents important work products important photos now, of course, for most of these, your financial, legal, and important work products, you probably should have a hard copy that is a physical copy, but also because those can be lost, because those can be stolen, those can be damaged, at least for me, is that I have electronic copies of all my documents. So if you're only going to back up your most important files, the advantage is it needs less space. You might be able to put all of your important documents on, let's say, a large flash drive. The second strategy is to back up all of your documents, regardless of their importance. So for example, all your photos, all of your documents, all of your graphics, your PDF books, your music, your memes, that is, you're backing up everything, let's say, in your documents folder. Now the advantage of this is it needs less space than a full backup of a drive, which I'll talk about shortly, but still more than just backing up your most important file. The disadvantage is that it requires more space than simply backing up your most important files. And finally, you have the capability of backing up your entire hard drive, every single file on it. So this allows you to copy over an entire hard drive, including the operating system and applications. 
When I just purchased a new iMac, I was able to copy over the entire hard drive from my older iMac to my new iMac. I didn't have to install the operating system or any new applications. I just copied them over, including all of my documents. The advantage is you can quickly recover from a massive hard drive failure or when you're changing computers, but the disadvantage is it's going to require a lot more space. So let's look at two types of backups. There are more types of backups. Let's look at the most important ones. There's something called an incremental backup. And that is you have one full backup of everything you want to backup from your hard drive. And then that's followed by intermittent backups for only the files that have changed since your last backup. The advantage is that subsequent backups are done very quickly. It doesn't take much time because only the files that have changed are backed up. The disadvantage is I don't see any. But you also had the capability for doing a full backup. Now notice that a full backup is part of the incremental backup. But the full backup strategy is when every single file on the hard drive is backed up intermittently regardless if a file has changed. So even if the file hasn't changed, it is still backed up. The disadvantage of this is each backup requires significantly more time than an incremental backup. Now the next question arises is, where do you back up your computer files? There are several different options. One of the most popular now is by backing up to the cloud or to an external backup site, which is separate. It's a separate thing than backing up to the cloud. So the advantage of this is that most operating systems, including the Mac OS, Windows, iOS, and Android OS support backup to the cloud seamlessly. That is, you don't have to actually do anything for it to back up to the cloud. The disadvantage is you don't physically control the backup. Also, external backup sites are known to be slow. Another option is, is to back up your files to an external hard drive that you connect to the device or your computer or to a flash drive. The advantage here is you physically control the backup. The disadvantage is there's something called the co-location problem. What is the co-location problem? Let's see what that is. So the co-location problem means that you have your original files and the device to which you're backing up those files in the same place. They're co-located. So let's say we have that condition here and I've actually got this running here on my iMac. If you have a fire and it destroys all the contents of your house, that means that your original files have been burned as well as your backups, which means that you no longer have access to any of your files. Also in Florida, we have these things called hurricanes and we also have tornadoes, but also it goes for other natural disasters such as earthquakes. If your only backup is physically located in the same place as your originals, you still aren't protecting yourself because there is the possibility that both your originals and your backups will be destroyed. And I'll talk about how I deal with that in just a moment. What is the best solution? Well, I'm sorry to say it really depends. You have to think in terms of how much are your files worth to you, not only dollar wise, let's say you've got work products on your computer, but also emotion wise, do you have important files, for example, family photos, that if you lost those, is that they would create distress for you. Once you figure out the importance of those files, that will drive the selection of how and when to back up your files. And it really deals with something called risk management. The effort and expense you put into a data backup and recovery system is dependent on the expense and dollars and emotions that would occur if those files were lost. So let me tell you how I deal personally with my backup and recovery system. I have three backups. One is cloud-based that occurs automatically. So anything I put on my hard drive automatically gets backed up to the cloud. Now, as an aside here, one time I went to my cloud source and I was missing files and I didn't know why. And I looked in the, let's call it garbage can for this cloud backup and I had hundreds of files in there. Now I don't know how it got in there, whether that was human error or that was something that was accidentally done on part of the cloud backup. But regardless, every 30 days those files are removed from the trash can or garbage can. And if I'd not seen that within the 30 day period, I would have permanently lost those files if I'd only been using a cloud-based solution. But I also use a connected hard drive to my iMac with an hourly incremental backup through Time Machine. And what is Time Machine? It's a program that automatically comes with the Mac OS and it will perform an incremental backup. So every hour, the files that have changed will be backed up to the hard drive. 
But hold on a second, remember I talked about the co-location problem. How do I solve that? Well, I have a secondary hard drive that is kept off-site. It's kept at my office at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. And once a month, I switch that out so that that can then be used as the backup. Which means that I'm only missing out if something occurs at my house and I lose both my iMac and my external backup, I'm only losing a month's worth of data. However, because I've got that cloud-based backup, more than likely, I won't be losing out on anything. And the reason I have three, and I spend extra money for this, is because my files are very important to me. I do a lot of photography. All of my work products that go into my job are saved on here. So both emotionally and dollar-wise, it would cause me great distress if we're unable to find a very important file. And so to summarize, we talked about when things go wrong with hard drives. And by the way, they will. We talked about what can go wrong with hard drives. We talked about the importance of backing up your hard drives and devices. We discussed what you should back up, the types of backups, as well as the backup strategies. This video was brought to you by the National Cybersecurity Training and Education Center out of Whatcom Community College.